Hello, my name is Michael Maddy, and this is me explaining how I've made a demo weather system in a WISE project for a video game early in development. So I set it up with one event just called Play Ambient, and then that is synced to numerous um, switches and RTPCs. So if I go on to the Play Ambient event, it is triggered to play two different switches of environment type and weather type. So if we go to the environment type switch, it is triggered to play between two different biomes, uh, city and jungle. And within those, it has switch containers of day and night cycles within those biomes. So you have a jungle day, jungle night. You have a city day and city night. And then within both of those, there are multiple audio files that can loop between each other just to make it a bit more gradual the way it transitions when it loops. So we've been through one of the switches. The other switch is the weather type. So this is set to play between numerous different combinations of those weathers. So you have just thunder, just wind, just rain, but then you have rain, wind, you have rain, thunder, you have thunder, wind, you have thunder, wind and rain, just numerous different combinations. And again, they all have fade in and fade out times and they play across the switches. So it effectively kind of cross fades between them. And within all of those combinations, let me just click on the rain one as an example, that too switches between weather intensity of non-existent light or heavy. And within both of those, you have multiple audio files to add variation. So if I go to the game syncs and show you the switches, so you've got environment type here, switch of time and day, weather intensity, and weather type. And in order to control all of these things, I made a custom Max MSP patch, if I show you here. So this Max patch uses MIDI to control parameters of Inwise. So these first four things here are just event plays. So I set it up so that the first four MIDI channels, so I set it up so that each event comes out of MIDI channel one, two, three, and four. So I used this to send regular MIDI messages to WISE. So for example, if I put a thousand every second, it will send this message out of this MIDI port into WISE. So if I just hit that, for example, that's triggered to play my player footsteps event. If I can turn it off, turn it on. The second one is triggered to play a handgun being shot. And then this one is to trigger handgun reload. So whilst all that is playing in real time at regular intervals, I can also manipulate the different RTPC values that I just showed you. So this one is the weather intensity, as you can see here, it is changing in real time. This one is the weather type. This one is the time of day. And this one is the environment type. So what I can do is if I hit play within Wise. What I can then do is, if I need to stop anything, I set up a global play pause button. So whatever's playing, it'll just pause it, and then I can hit resume with the click of a button. So I'll just so I'll just let it play, and I'll just manipulate some of these RTPCs just to show you the transitions.
Thank you for listening to me demonstrating my WISE project.